Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Plastic Soul, the Entertainment Earth pop culture show. I'm your host, Jason Lindsay. Well, Super 7 reaction, you've done it again. You got me hooked. Look at these. I could not believe my eyes when I came across these. I had no idea they were happening and here they are. They're Who Framed Roger Rabbit reaction four inch figures, slightly stylized. And let me tell you why because those guys know what they're doing. Few people know this. Well, I suppose if you're in the know with toys, you kind of know this, but LJN had the license for Who Framed Roger Rabbit back in 1988. I knew what Roger Rabbit was because of an article in Premiere Magazine. Anybody remember Premiere Magazine? I was reading it every month, finding out what was coming out, who was doing what. And I saw a picture of Bob Hoskins and Roger Rabbit in handcuffs together. And I knew Bob Hoskins from The Long Good Friday and Mona Lisa and Brazil and other films I'd seen him in. I was already a, a fan. And I read this synopsis and I went, what the heck is this? Like a cartoon live action mashup? Like, oh my God. And uh, so it was just around the time that I started thinking about collecting or buying a toy. I hadn't bought a toy in five or six years. And I was kind of thinking about it. And then I went to the movies the night that it came out. And there behind the popcorn and the candy, was a little suction cup figure of Roger Rabbit, like like stuck to the to the glass. You know, the kind of little figure you put in the back window of your car. Um, but I had never seen one of those. I didn't know what that was. And I went, whoa, can I have that? Can I buy that? And they didn't have it. <clears throat> and then I went looking for stuff. And before you know it, you could find PVCs and little suction cup figures all over the place. The, I think it was Play School, made a talking Roger Rabbit, a pull string, back when they did pull string talking dolls. And it was Charles Fleischer's voice. So. I got it. It became one of the first toys that I bought in a long, long time. And then one day I was out and about and saw some action figures from Roger Rabbit. LJN got the license. LJN, who did the Dune toys, who did the Indiana Jones and the Temple of Dune figures, who mainly were known for like those Rough Rider type vehicles and toys, got the license for Roger Rabbit. They made a Judge Doom, Eddie Valiant, Roger Rabbit, one of the Weasels, and... That was it, I think. They also made some bendy figures, Jessica Rabbit, Baby Herman, Roger Rabbit, Eddie Valiant, but the little mini figures were always kind of lacking because they never had a, a Jessica Rabbit. Then later on, I discovered they made a Benny the Cab that the figures went in. Now, I never saw Benny the Cab in the stores, but he was one of those little figures that you had to sort of hunt for or find in classified ads like the toy shop or something, and suddenly they were everywhere. And it's a wonderful little toy, wonderful design as he rolls along. He, his little eyes pop out and you can put Roger Rabbit in him and you know, it was just great. So these are great and they made a couple of weasels, they made Roger Rabbit, Jessica Rabbit, Judge Doom and I hope, hope they get to make all the characters in Roger Rabbit. That was a movie that I saw multiple times in the theater and I have bought every version that exists and I love it. I just think it's still an incredible film. When you think about the making of that film, it's one of the most extraordinary achievements uh, ever, and especially for, for Bob Zemeckis. It's an incredible achievement still to this day. You could do it easily today, but what those actors went through, what Bob Hoskins sort of went through to act with nothing or props for nine months or whatever it was, it's, a, it's a, no wonder he had a bit of a nervous breakdown after it. Uh, I told a story once on a talk show, I recall that he took his kid to the premiere of Roger Rabbit. The kid was like four, four or five or something and, and he wouldn't talk to uh, Bob Hoskins afterwards and couldn't figure out why. And finally he said, what's the matter? Are you upset? What, what's the problem? And the kid said, yeah, I am upset. And he asked him why and he, Hoskins said, he, the kid was like, if you went and made a movie with Daffy Duck and Roger Rabbit and Bugs Bunny and Mickey Mouse and you were going to work with these, these people and you never brought them home, you never introduced me to them, what kind of father are you? Very cute. but. Very true. I probably would have thought the same thing. Anyway, these are a ton of fun. Reaction Super 7, do it again. Who framed Roger Rabbit action figures? Boy, do we need these. I hope we get a huge line and every character, including Benny the Cab. Well, there you go. I hope you like Roger Rabbit as well. Please let me know what you think and hit like and subscribe. Do you like Roger Rabbit? Did you have the LJN toys? Do you like LJN toys? Do you want a bunch more of these? What do you think's missing? This is the kind of movie that's missing for an action figure line. What would you like to see happen? Let us know. And please also sign up for the Entertainment Earth email newsletter to stay up to date on all of your pop culture needs. They won't let you down. Heading to Toontown, people.